everybody, it's me, Legend Zelda Master One. And on this video, I'm going to show everybody how I animate a character in Macromedia Flash 8. First, I start off with a head because of the about seven heads roll thing. Just makes the animation easier when you know your character's proportions. Okay, now that I have the head done, then I go for the neck. Now the neck's pretty easy to make, you just make a line on it. Then I take the full head and I paste it in here and get rid of the color so that it doesn't take away anything else. Now for the neck, I use a gradient to kind of give it a little bit of a shadow kind of feeling. I usually use peach and a lighter version of this kind of brown tannish color. Then instead of just pa painting it into there, I make a box. And I make sure that everything's aligned. And the good thing about gradients is they made a gradient tool so that if this area is a little too dark, you could use this gradient tool to drag it up, which would make it lighter, or drag it down to make it darker. Then you could also rotate it to do whatever else. So it's a pretty useful tool that I'm learning about. Oh, 
Okay, so now that I have the neck part done, I add on to the neck. I start making the arms, like the shoulder blades or whatever. And depending on how much you're into the proportional area, you could have your shoulders wider, shorter, whatever. I usually have mine kind of like this. And since this character is going to have a shirt, you could just make a line. Either way, the shirt's going to cover it so you don't have to at the next part, unless your character is revealing in that area. Now that I have that part done, I make sure that the neck kind of cuts off around here. And now you have the basic form of a person's torso. Now here's where the seven heads rule thing comes into this line right this line right here is the divider for the middle so if anything were to be off centered I'd easily be able to center everything now what I do is I take the head and paste it one right below the other seven times Then it, when I get three, I copy them all and paste them all. And now the sixth one. And now that makes seven. As you can see, this character's feet will be down here. But since that's a little big, I can also shrink everything. I'll keep everything in proportions since they're all being shrunk. So now I'll these down a couple more layers. And now I'll start off with a shirt. Now in anime it's strangely common to see some characters' clothes flying off them all. Like to where it almost looks like there's like five different shirts under it. I usually just make this invisible and bring it up a thin amount. Because shirts aren't really that thick. the middle one and I like, give it a soft curved edge
Now this is a good point where this line comes into place. Now that it's throughout the entire character, I'll be able to easily make everything even. What I usually do is I make the torso about the size of three heads, while the torso and the stomach and all the other areas oh, should come about there.
it's time for the div the center division thing again. As you can see, this character looks a little wide. This can easily be fixed by selecting everything but the head and the neck. Well, the neck's connected, but that's what's going to act big. So you select everything and squeeze it in.
settings are also pretty simple. Make it to about there. Now since I played there, you gotta set this as the base. Now that the outline is done, then you just add colors. I usually make shirts and everything with gradients.
fix them up again. Sure, it seems to not want to go that high, so I'm going to bring it down a little, but also kind of widen it. See, that's the basic outline of the character. So it should seem not too high or too low. Anything up to that. Just gonna make some basic guys right now.
this one and three will have the regular eyes with the filling in them. Layer four will have the eyes that you take out the filling. Well, not eyes, but eyebrow and lashes, eyelashes, so that this will only. It's time for the iris, for the iris, yes, you could use whatever, I like using the white, you could use a circle, or an oval, or you can make the entire eye the iris, like in other animes. basic color on this eye will make it just boring. So I generally make the outside like a lighter and the inside darker. Convert it to a symbol. And the reason for this is because then you can do a non mask. gradient circles I change to white and then I bring the alpha down this will make my eye transparent at first you won't see anything like you'll just see the transparent white stuff Transparent light go into the iris, but when you close this layer, you can see the light coming over here, and then you could just simply adjust it like on layer this. Actually, brush in the lighting. You could either leave it as that simple lighting. 
how you could make a gradient wider and this white part will be down to like 20 and then this other white part will be down to 0 This will do. If you bring it down below, it'll be even easier to see. So that right there. Now this white iris. Right here, and right here you can still see it, but up here it disappears. And finally, I usually have one of these. of light. into the eye and then mask mask the second full eye make sure that the fourth one is not selected and then mask the third one because it's out of place.
copy those five things. Insert. this in finally so I'm good then I lock then I lock the first five and I'll lock the one with the nose and when I select all of them I can reverse pause for a bit and this part's messed up because I screwed up on my lines I'll repaste the frames I'll reset everything Paste them on the, the noses. Now the eyes are of equal distance to the nose, but they're still too close. I'm not really that Now the eyes kind of look kind of funny, so I don't have to to do that. Just click on the Still look kind of funny, but oh well. Now make make sure that the irises have the light coming from the same direction. Otherwise, it'll look like I don't know something weird. Okay, then for the new layer, this new layer will. This will be some simplistic hair.
depending on whatever kind of hairstyle you want, you could do whatever. you run the gradient into the lines, or the lines into the gradients, the lines start curving in a weird fashion. And now that the gradient's there, you can drag it up, stretch it out. is pretty simple if you have a character in my style because what you gotta do is bring it here like that. sure that they're about the same kind of angle. Not exactly the same. You just add the line. Curve the hair a little. generally like using a straight gradient. And since it's on the back of the head, the head's going to cast a shadow. Here you have a generally less shadowy style. It's not exactly fully proportional since it was a little rushed, but as you can see, now you could change the document size, but I don't have to change, I could change to like 1800.
Okay, so hopefully you found this video useful. And leave comments if you want something else. I might be I might start doing video tutorials, I'm not sure. I'm never sure because I have no schedule, so whatever. Leave a comment if you want anything else shown. So Jamata.